So in the previous video, I set up this very simple little database, a single table called Table Students, and the student's got a last name and a first name. I'm going to try and pull that data into my Flask application here. And this is a, just a blank Flask application. You start with the same and we'll see where we go. So first thing is we need to import something. Um, there are many modules, it turns out, for, um, for connecting to MySQL databases from within Flask. Here's one that I've chosen. It's a fairly arbitrary choice, but it has the same characteristics as most of the other ones I've seen. So we'll go with it for now, not saying won't change later. Type that in, import PySmith MySQL and hit play just to make sure that um, it doesn't crash, that it is actually installed on your computer. If you get an error at this point, um, you need to let Mr. Boateng know and he will install MySQL on your computer. Now, how do we use it to connect to that database? Um, as per usual, we go on the internet to find out. Luckily, I've already done that. I think. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is actually the PyMySQL documentation. It's not perfect for what we want, but that's the nature of web documentation, isn't it? So this one here is what is just like the first one that came up. And uh, we can see what it does. It connects to the database, PyMySQL connect to a database. And uh, this bit inserts a record. We're not going to bother with that now, because all we want to do is a read a record, which is this bit. Let's just grab the whole thing first though. So import, we don't need to import the cursors because we've already got the import MySQL that includes all of that. So control C, and I'm gonna put it into this, this hello, why not? Control V, and I need to fix my indentation clearly. So all the way down to here, but leave and return hello world. That looks good, I think. So let's go through and modify this to what we want. So yes, it's localhost. User is going to be root. And password is the same as we had when we used Navicat, 13 com capitals. And database was, uh, what do you call it, students, I think. Um, let's hit go at this point. I just want to check this bit. This bit will definitely create an error because it's a whole bunch of random stuff that we don't have in our database. Let's just see though. So we're just looking for where the error happens. Students.users doesn't exist. Well, that's great news because it means we did connect to the database because it got down to here. I think that was right. Yeah, we tried to insert into users. That doesn't exist. So it gave up, which means that the connection worked great. Let's get rid of this uh, first bit here, the insert into. We're going to do that. Not right now, though. We're going to do with this select thing. Let's make this a touch larger so we can see what's going on. Uh, our fields that we're going for are last name, first name. Those are all the fields we've got. I'll have to do from TBL students. Uh, we'll do more on SQL in class, of course, but I think you should all be familiar with a, a fairly simple select query. And we're going to execute that cursor. And the cursor just kind of gets us the data and gives us a position within that data. This doesn't seem to be needed. I've tried from experience. So we're going to result equals cursor dot fetch one and print result. So again, we're ignoring what happens down here. Uh, hopefully it will show us something in this screen here. Last name blogs, first name Joe. Great. So although we haven't got anything on our web page yet, our Flask application has connected to a database and got some data. That's a massive step forward. And the next step of actually displaying that, just to sort of wrap it up, I'll do in the next video.